Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Don't Spill Your Coffee, and I actually saw this over on my good buddy Finpire's channel. Now, if you want to check out his video, I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you can see that. He's a funny YouTuber. If you guys like my content, you're going to love Finpire, so go over and stop by and say hello. But anyway, so this game was apparently made for a private game jam. I don't know what game jam that would be, but it's now on steam green light and apparently you're this weird faceless office worker and you're late to some meetings and you have to rush there while rushing there you have to use your ass to open up some key card gates to get through security and then you also have to make sure you're not spilling your coffee thus the name of the game i don't know how any of this has to do with anything but this is the first level uh right stick to move so basically use the left stick to move around you can use a gamepad or you can use your keyboard and you oh my god i'm doing the limbo um <laughs> so you move forward with the uh with sort of like tank controls if you guys remember like the old resident evil games like you couldn't like really move forward while turning very easily and that's kind of like what this game is you'd have to like turn first and then you can move forward so that's basically the gist of movement and then at the same time you'll notice I keep doing the limbo if I walk forward and I'm spilling coffee for just fresh hot coffee all down my chest and all over my face that's wonderful I'm glad that I'm getting these third degree burns that's that's great right before my meeting I don't seem to care very much I'm still just walking along being big dumb dingus face but <laughs> and I'm spilling coffee all over the ground someone's gonna have to clean that up man that's pretty rude but you control basically how you balance with the right stick so you'll see there i can just do this crazy dance maneuver oh my god holy <laughs> and you can lose your balance apparently oh my god i'm doing like some crazy oh i opened the door apparently I'm doing some crazy break dancing move like i'm what is that that's called the, like the turtle right that's the turtle right I, I don't know i'm young and hip look at that belly look at that spine move like that jesus christmas dude get up okay so apparently you can't get up but you can respawn by hitting a so we're gonna have to do that and it looks like my coffee stains are still on the ground why are those still there come on come on timothy the janitor timothy he should have cleaned these up by now we don't we're paying him too much apparently all right so uh because he's not doing his job and I don't know why I'm so late to these meetings, why I can't walk, but I'm guessing it's from a hangover. Um, so you saw there earlier that that key card thing, that the, the thing on the gate there behind my ass. I have to position my ass to touch it. Oh my god, just put your ass on it, dude. Just put... Okay, yeah, there we go. And that allows me to go through this turnstile now, and I'll be able to get to my meeting on time. Yippee, yay! I'm showing up to work freaking drunk, apparently. I can't even goddamn walk. Leftover coffee, 87%. Oh, look at all those points I racked up. Not too bad. You got to your meeting, your team made a solid plan. Press A to go to the next one. All right, shadow play. Why is this called shadow play? I don't understand. So that's the gist of the game, is you're just this drunk freaking jackass moron. I don't know, I'm going to call him Ted. Ted Tedderson here is, you know, he's looking for his middle management promotion. And now, oh my god, but he's coming in, like I said, he's just <laughs> he's doing flips and shit. And now drowning, he's waterboarding himself with coffee. That's wonderful. But his caffeine boost is really high, whatever the hell that means. I, oh my god, his legs are just going everywhere. I think the caffeine boost might be making you a little bit too hyper, man. Looks like a three stu one of the three stooges. Looks like our, our endless coffee cup finally ran out of coffee. <laughs> it means we're dead, probably. We probably died. So, anyway, what I was trying to say, though, is Ted Tedderson. I don't know why he's, he's making it to these meetings late. I don't know what he's doing here, but we have to help him out. And it's just there's so many gameplay mechanics at work here that are just making everything wrong and terrible. Um, all right, so this one we have to... How do we do this? Oh, no, don't, don't bend over. Don't bend over, Ted. All right, Ted, come on. You learned this in yoga class. You took that hot yoga class with your wife, remember? You guys went into the very warm room and did yoga. And for whatever godforsaken reason, that was like what you guys wanted to do for your couples retreat. I don't know, your freaking couples counseling therapist said that, that would be a good thing to do. Doesn't seem that like it worked very much, Ted. Come on, Ted. What the f... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we could always try to breakdance through the turnstile. Oh, God. It looks like he's just hemorrhaging blood, but it's coffee. <laughs> this game's absolutely ridiculous. Let's give this another go. All right, Ted, we got to make it in there. Bill said that he had an important, important message for the team today, and I don't want to be the last guy there. I don't think that it will be good. 
you know, you're like I said, you're looking for that promotion, man. You're looking for that promotion. That's why you're risking coming into work drunk. Oh my God, Ted, that was really close, dude. And you need you need that promotion. Oh my God, Sarah, your wife, Sarah is she she needs more money for DVDs and jewelry. I don't know what she buys. You don't know what she buys even. You don't pay enough attention because you're always drowning yourself in coffee. <laughs> Good lord, his feet are like kicking everywhere. Good god, this game is so freaking hard though. It, it seriously is just like trying to control the drunk person. This is level two. How am I supposed to get my big fat ass over there? Like I can't, I can't twerk into that wall very well. This is tough. Am I supposed to like, is there a different method to do this? I saw that there's a way to control your ass later in the game. And I, I want to at least try to get to the ass levels. Because I think those are important. God, he face planted so hard. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta be so painful. <laughs> well, as you guys can see plainly from the coffee stains on the floor, I have failed in this area a number of times. I don't even drink coffee that much in real life. Like, I do sometimes. If it's offered to me, I'll occasionally have it. But I'm more of a tea drinker myself. I don't, I don't drink a ton of coffee. But I, I guess this is probably how most people function before they've had their morning coffee, from what I've been able to see. You just act like a drunk, crazy person who can't frickin' move their ass. Ted, Ted, move that ass. Yeah, back that ass up. Come on, you a big fine woman when you back that ass up. Get the ass to the keycard. I can't even tell where this keycard thing is. Like, why? my depth perception is bad or something. I don't know. Can I use my hand to pick up the keycard? I'm putting my hand, I think I'm putting my hand through my ass cheek. Yeah, that's, that's one way to pick a wedgie is just shove your hand all the way through your own freaking leg. Holy crap, Ted, Ted, work with me here, buddy. Th Ted, I'm trying to get you this goddamn promotion. God damn, just, yeah, sure, just do the worm, do the coffee worm on the ground. I don't care, I don't care anymore. I wish there was like a way to control the camera angle so I could tell how close my anus is to this freaking switch because all I wanna do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. All I want to do is open this goddamn door. I seriously do. They said it was donut day, Ted. They said it was donut day today at the meeting. There's free donuts, you son of a bitch. God damn it, you bald piece of crap. I hate you so fucking much. I don't even think this part's that freaking hard. I just think that it's, like I said, the, the depth perception that I have of where to move the key card from my ass to, to hit the key card thing. It's right there on the wall. It's seriously right there on the wall, and I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move my anus into it, and it's not having it. It's not being a cooperative keycard thing. Oh, we did it! Holy shit, we did it! Okay, Ted, this is your moment, man. This is your moment to shine. Oh, come on, just like, yeah, nice and easy, just like they taught you in the military. Come on, there you go. Ah, 85% coffee even. That wasn't too bad. It only took me 9,000 attempts to do that one. So on to the next one, guys. All right, this one's called Squat Time, which I have a feeling is where I get to move my booty. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to moving my booty, making Ted twerk, twerk it out here. He's already shown that he's an excellent break dancer, <laughs> even while incredibly drunk. So move your butt, LT and left stick. So how do I, oh no, Ted. This is gonna be, oh my God. Yeah, get down on the flow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby, those moves. Holy crap, this is how this is how you got Sarah for sure. These crazy moves. So it looks like the key card thing is down on the floor. And we have to go ahead and tiptoe. Why, why are you tiptoeing now? Why are you like up on your toes? God damn it, Ted. You are some crazy, freaky party animal guy. Oh, God. No, Ted, you bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> this game is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I think this is our moment to shine. I think this is where we can do it, though. All right, so we're right in front of it, more or less. All right, rotate. Nope, just rotate. Don't move. No, you don't have to dance. You don't. He looks so jaunty when he does that. He's like, <laughs> yes, off to another day of work at the meeting land, meeting company, where we believe in meetings. <laughs> meeting company for all of your meeting needs. All right, dude, my butt is like right there. Yeah, crab walk over. Yes, Ted, I'm proud of you. Stand back up. No, Ted, you bitch. Oh my God. All right, what are you doing now, Ted? That's not a. That's not a healthy position, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna see you. HR is gonna see you and come down on you pretty hard for this after you get done coming down on yourself, man. Oh my god. Okay, I say we give it one more go here. 
and then we're done with this game. It, this is way, way harder than I thought it was going to be, just looking at like the screenshots of this. It's kind of hilarious. The thing that I'm wondering is, how is Ted's shirt not all freaking stained and stuff? Like, he is a, he's a master of spilling coffee in the same exact spot on his chest. Ted, you bastard, do not end my... Don't end my run right here, Ted. Ted, Ted, I need you... Ted, 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 it's not Limbo Day. Limbo Friday is on Friday. Today is is a different day. It's not that day. Come on. This is one of the biggest meetings at Meeting Corporation. We need you to go to the meeting for Meeting Corporation. Yeah, that's fine, man. I, I have no problem if you crab walk through the turnstile. Security, does, security doesn't judge much. Oh, my God. Ted? Ted? All right, Ted? All right, I need you to listen. That's fine. Ted, that's a fine walk. That's a great walk. That's a gentleman's walk. There we go, Ted. Negative 15,000 points. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. You got to your meeting. You started to lose focus in it. I think he was losing focus way before that. He get, The dude can barely walk. Okay, game? <laughs> But anyway, guys, that was Don't Spill Your Coffee. It was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed this one. Like I said, this is on Steam Greenlight, so I'll leave a link to it down below in the description if you guys want to try it out yourself. I think there's like 10 levels in this demo version, so there's plenty to play around with. This game is definitely one of those rage games that gets infuriating, but it's so stupid that it's almost like too hilarious to get mad at. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this one. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video in favor of it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.